I'm going to demonstrate on how to create a Facebook page using Faceit Pages. Here you'll see that we are in step one of the Faceit Pages interface. And this is where you set up all of your important page information, the content, the photos, videos, products. You'll, you are first presented with the content block, which is where you can put information about, about your page or your service your product, your company. You can link words in this, this content block. You can choose the font size, color. You can bold text. And you can even go into source view if you're brave enough and you want to add your own HTML. Here you can also add HTML snippets from other service providers such as Constant Contact, Optin Forms, or MailChimp, or Aweber opt-in forms. Uh, the source view really gives you a lot of control of adding your own HTML. You can also add a page title or tagline that best represents your, your page or your product or service. And we also give you a bunch of different module options. And I'm not going to go into setting up all of these modules because we have separate videos that go into detail on each of these modules. But I'll briefly run through a couple of them and focus mainly on this products listings module because I'm going to set up a products page today for this demo. You can set up a header module which basically allows you to upload a banner which displays on the top of your page. You can choose to add photos, um, a photo gallery or slideshow by simply uploading photos and choosing the photo gallery format or the slideshow format depending on how you want this to display in your page. You can add main menu tabs. You can see here I've added uh, a few main menu tabs here. You can choose to link these main menu tabs to other Facebook pages or you can link them to external pages, you know, maybe to the contact page on your website for an example. You can add Google Analytics code which will allow you to track your page through your Google Analytics account. You can add social network links and other links. We give you a, a bunch of different link types you can add. You can embed a YouTube video directly into your page by simply specifying the YouTube URL. You can add a music playlist. You can set up a coupon or a promo, which I've done here. Uh, very easy. You simply add the title, the description, you upload a promo image, the value, the discount price, the buy URL and buy button name, which are optional, and you will have a promo that will display in your page. And I'll show you how that looks here in one of these next steps. You can add a Twitter feed by simply adding your Twitter username into this module. You can add a WordPress blog feed by adding your WordPress feed. Um, so this will actually show up in your Facebook page. You can choose to add a Facebook comment box um, through one of these modules. You can add a Scribd PDF document if you use the Scribd service to uh, create PDFs. You can embed a SlideShare file if you create SlideShare presentations through SlideShare. And you can even add products or a store to your Facebook page, which is what I'm doing here. And I'm going to edit one of the products that I've already added, just so you can see how easy this is. You add the product name, the description. You can even go into source view here if you want to add HTML to the description, or maybe a PayPal Buy Now button. Upload a photo. You can label your Buy button. You can specify a Buy URL. Uh, linking them, for example, to the product page on your website where they can actually buy that product. The product price, the store order that you want it to display on your page. You can choose to display a like button or a share button. You can see here I've done that on this product. So users and visitors can like and share individual products. You can even display Facebook comments for individual products which will display a comment box under, under your product. And users can leave comments for your individual products.
after you've set up all your modules, you can set up your contact and company information. You can choose to display as little or as much contact information as you'd like. You can upload a logo, personal photo. And when you're done setting up all your page information, you simply proceed to the next step, which will take you to our template selection screen. And we offer a variety of templates here that focus on different aspects. So if you wanted your page to focus on your coupon, we suggest choosing one of the coupon templates, which will display your coupon front and center. For this presentation, though, I'd like to focus on my products. I want to create a products page, so I'm going to choose the products template. And you'll, you'll see a display right here on this page, so you can see exactly how it's going to look. You can choose a different template if you're not happy, or you can choose to go back to step one and add more page information or edit your page information. When you're happy, you can simply save and publish your page which will take you to this confirmation page and you can click to install on Facebook. From here you choose a tab name and you can choose your tab name later once you install it on Facebook but for this this demo let's choose shop and it will then take you to Facebook to to install it and you'll want to choose the page that you want it installed um, because a lot of people have multiple Facebook pages. So you'll want to choose the page that you want it installed on. And once you choose your page, you will see that this page, this Facebook page you created, is now embedded directly into Facebook as a mini website. You'll see here, here's the tabs that we've created, the main menu tabs. Here's our product. Here's our main content block. Here's some of the other modules that we've added the promo module, our blog, here's our comment box, Twitter feed. And while I'm here, I want to also show you our main Faceit page so you can see some of the other modules in action. Our main Faceit page, you can see that we're focusing on the promo. So we've chosen the promo template. We've actually also embedded a YouTube video. See how that looks? We've added a slideshow, um, uploading the photos to that slideshow and photo gallery module. You can see the slideshow allows your visitors to zoom in on thumbnails or they can manually navigate. Here's our contact block, and this varies based off what template you choose. You can see that we've added a comment box, and, and a lot of our our members have left comments on our Facebook page. We've added the Twitter module, the blog module. We've added the script module, which has allowed us to embed the PDF, the PDF into our page. You can zoom in or you can view a full screen of this PDF. And in this particular page, you can see that we've set up our main navigation to actually stay within our Facebook page, you know, acting really as a mini website. You can see we've, we've created multiple tabs that navigate directly within Facebook. Uh, or you can choose to link these tabs to an external page, which is what we did here. We, the, our Create Page tab takes you to our actual you know, Facebook page's website. So, as you can see, it's super simple. You can create a stunning Facebook page using Faceit Pages in under 10 minutes.